Hi and welcome. Let's uh, do a quick quote for a motor vehicle. Here's uh, the front page of the website and I've already got my login in, so let's log in. Just clicking that button. You'll come up to this area here and you can either create a new quote here or here. So let's click on this button, create a new quote. And it shows you all the different options you've got. Some of these have multiple choice, like say in the case of a vehicle, click on the vehicle tab. And um, we're going to do a motor vehicle quote, so click on motor vehicle quote. And you've got a calculator. So if we're going to um, do a vehicle wrap, we might just say we want one. Uh, you might put a value of the artwork of say $120. Uh, you could put an allowance to do a quote, which may be, you know, 15 minutes or $10 or whatever figure you put into it. Oops, sorry. There. Um, and you might have a prep rate, so you might choose to use a junior, so we might put a prep rate there, and we might put, say, two hours worth of prep work. We might allow the cost of digital media, and uh, we might want to use a good quality digital media at about $62 a square metre. You might want to allow a similar quality laminate, a premium laminate. Now, the square meterage part, you might notice just here, if you click on this, it'll actually take you away to a little uh, PDF download or a guidebook, so you can actually work out how much the vehicles are. So each one of these little blue squares here, or a square with a little crosshair in it, will give you an indication like, see, for example, that one there, it's about a quarter of a metre going to be used. Now, I happen to know that a full digital, uh, digital wrap on a uh, Mercedes Vito van like this is about 31 metres, so I might allow myself 35 square metres on a full vehicle wrap. Or for that matter, you might only say it's a partial wrap and I'm going to do about 15 square metres. You actually may want to measure it up, whichever way you want to do it. Then I can put a, uh, an installation allowance, um, which can be in time or, or rate. So um, we might put uh, that it's going to be 12 hours uh, to do it at an hourly rate of, say, $70.00. Um, we may put some vinyl lettering. There might be a couple of reflective phone numbers across the back. We might just put an allowance of, say, $56. Reassemble the motor vehicle. Again, we might um, use the same low hourly rate there, and we might say that there's about three hours to reassemble. Uh, you might want to put another allowance for a rush, say $100, because it's a bit of a rush. When you hit the Calculate button, there you've got a total price on what the vehicle. Now, of course, you can adjust that, and you can notice down here you can actually... Um, select and add your own people into this system. Um, you can drop your own letterhead into position there simply by clicking on the edit button. Um, and then you can actually type. Now it's already put the information there, but here you can you could put um, um, that it's a Mercedes Vito van. Um, be good if I could spell it, etc. And um, and then it'll come through with your information, all that information, and then this information here is completely editable. You click that and you can go back and, and edit all in. So um, the other cool thing about the, the software, there's, there's a bit of a pricing guide here. So you could actually have a look at a pricing guide for partial vehicles or full vehicle wraps, etc. Um, average prices or complex prices. There's also um, the images of different vehicles. So the idea of these are if you're out on the job and you wanted to talk to a customer, because it's web-based, if you've got your uh, iPad or Samsung or whatever you're using as a mobile device, and you can also show the customer a simple vehicle, an average vehicle, and a complex vehicle. And like any of them, you could say click on a vehicle and it'll pull it up to a standard size. And then you can literally show them a representation and you can also flick through each of the vehicles in that range. So right from designs, we haven't tried to restrict it to any one area. We've tried to put uh, vehicle outlines like this that are available on the signimages.com website or alternatively, really flash-looking three-dimensional graphics um, that some of the guys and, and ladies are getting into uh, designing really smart-looking um, vehicles. So but you, can, you can see what we've tried to do. So let us know what you think of it. Uh, give us a call. There's usually about 20 of these different images, anything from vans to buses all the way through. There's also a really cool checklist of all of the things that you should allow for when you're doing vehicle signage, which is most helpful. And... Um, uh, there's also a list of suppliers who actually work in that area. He'll supply you the actual suppliers or the manufacturers who specialise in that, that, that area as well. So I hope you enjoy working with it. Let us know what you think. And uh, please don't hesitate, hesitate to give us a call.